Okay, so let's get some clarity. My name is Kevin Muganza, uh, founder of PTG Performance, which is a consulting and implementation company where we help business owners um, optimize and scale sustainably using our all-in-one software and the PTG protocol. And today I wanted to come to you guys with um, a video talking about the roadmap that we made for one of our past prospects. Um, I was hesitating on sharing this, but I figured that might as well give it away because it can really help you or your clients get clarity and uh, and use that for yourself. So um, hope you're going to enjoy it. Stick to the end because, you know, you're going to like there's something I'm going to tell you guys that might really, really help you. So, yeah, let's get into it. First, let me explain what actually is a roadmap. So let me put myself in like this. So what actually is a roadmap? So a roadmap is a step-by-step -step process that, like I said, gives you um, proper clarity on the steps and actions to take to solve any current issues that you're having and then scale but just by default. Because if you solve any issues that you have and you um, you increase every 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 constraints that you have and you elevate it, then you're gonna scale by default. Okay, so here for her, um, so let me explain the context. Uh, she had an idea of like starting a, a music class um, for like children and uh, sometimes with like families and stuff like that. And so um, she had a local location, a single location. Um, and so she wanted us to like, basically build i mean help her build the project you know and that's exactly what we showed her with that roadmap so here we also did a pre-modern process i'll explain that in another video because it's going to be very long otherwise okay so here the first step that we were going to tackle with her was going to be to optimize the current tools that she had so the logo the branding um she had a flyers and we felt like the flyers were like a bit i mean not optimized at all for physical or online use and so we were going to optimize that as well and like put it so we did her we actually made her an example of how it could look like you see this is her old flyers you know with the informations and stuff like that and then this is something quick that we did just to show how it could look like you know we also uh, talked about creating her landing page or um, she doesn't need a website, but she definitely needed a landing page with information and videos to like show actually what she's doing, um, you know, why it is important for the kids and why her stuff is valuable, you know, and why she deserves to be seen and why her parents should bring their kids and all of that stuff, you know. And she also needed, obviously, a calendar so people can, like, they know when all the classes and stuff like that. So that's that was for the that was for the first part. We always start with optimizing the current tools because usually people have good tools that they use, but they're not using to the best of their abilities. And so because of that, the rest, if you scale something that is not optimized, then it's just going to break or you're gonna have to switch it when you already have scale. So I know there's people that talks about scale first and then optimize after, but like we need the basics, you know? So so yeah, that was for the optimizing. And then the second thing, we were going to review her, her offer because she had a, an idea of like how she could structure it, but we was going to do that with her. So we were gonna build assets with her on, like I said, why uh, is it important for the kids? Uh, you know, because maybe parents don't understand why music sessions or music classes are good for the kids, especially when they're so young and even even babies, you know? Um, and so she needed assets on that, you know, to change or to educate the parents on what, she actually she's actually doing she needed also to like create she had already that in place so we just 
uh, we, uh, that's why I put like a question mark because I didn't know if she had that in place. But first free session, you know, for people like to discover her work and stuff like that to see if they actually like it. Um, this is basically like a some type of lead. It's not a lead magnet, but it's like something that can attract people. It's free. You know, they can come and uh, see in real life what it actually gives. Uh, we are going to also review her pricing structure because we saw that, you know, her pricing was the price that she had in mind for her business. They weren't aligned with what the market was doing. And we didn't actually want to like to like match the market. We wanted to create a something better, way better than the market. So we can actually kind of, you know, in when it's local stuff, you can't really choose <laughs> the price price like that but like have something better so we can increase also the price and so she gets more revenue so she can invest in better things for the kids the parents and stuff like that and then we also talk, talk uh, thought about like hosting an event to actually launch properly the, the 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 project that she had so we talked about optimizing the tool so we needed to create her funnel so we, agreed on the funnel um so we're going to use we're going to use the assets that we've built with her so the content you know you have to use content nowadays like there's no way around it any business that you have if you have content it's just going to make you have more leverage so yeah if i can give a tips that's what i'm doing that's why i'll be doing videos almost every day because content is so 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 important and so yeah so we're going to use the, the the assets on the on the funnel um have relevant information we're also going to like have good naming because when you name properly the the stuff like the the project the offers and stuff like that it gives you an advantage you know and people don't think about that usually but good naming is so important and also uh, add the ability to book the first free session, you know, and ask for the email to have them on uh, email campaigns and to give them relevant information about, you know, the classes and stuff like that. So the next step was going to be like client acquisition. So we, you see, we review, we optimize the tools, we reviewed the offer, we created the, the funnel, and now it's time to get people on the funnel and in the classes, right? So because she has a, like a physical location, we need to start with warm outreach. So list of surroundings that all the people that she knows that have kids and stuff like that, boom, we need to like contact them, you know, and then have them come and test uh, do the free uh, first session. And then after the free first session, obviously you get referrals for more parents, you know, and also testimonials like, oh, um, how did they find the first session? And then we can use that to attract more people. Um, she also had a deal with like the English school, um, an English school that she, I don't know if she, I don't remember if she worked there, may basically, yeah, the English school has also kids that have parents that might also be interested. So make an offer to the English school. Like basically this is the whole process that we are going to use to get her clients, you know, door to door flyers, um, in her area, uh, try to get her on the local newspaper, um, um, local, yeah, local newspaper slash media, um, that could be very, very helpful. And obviously, um, have her social media filled with assets and content, um, to attract more people and then to keep those people, the customers, and especially the parents, um, we, we're going to help her build a community, you know, strong community around like the parents and the kids sharing music, right? Through events, you know, some little gathering after the, the classes or once a week and stuff like that. So a whole process around client retention. And so, yeah, that was the roadmap that we did for her. Um, I hope you can also give you a bit cl a clarity if you have a the location or you you know i don't know if you do maybe music classes as well um if you want to learn how this could be also done for you we offering five free audits so we go in depth into looking um 
with what we can find online about your business and the resources that you are willing to provide us after you know we had a talk um and we do an audit and after that we uh, make you personalized roadmap so you see this is this is very personalized uh to her and her actual need and so we can make that happen for you as well so we offer only five of these a week for the next few weeks so it won't be available forever so if you have that desire to become great you absolutely need absolutely need clarity so you know click the link below and uh, request your roadmap and take care see you later